In this video, we are going to be talking about three decisions that you should not regret making in your 20s and we are going to be saving the best for the last. So do well to watch the video right to the end to be able to get everything that I am going to be sharing with you guys. So let's get right straight into it. The first thing that you should not regret in your 20s is starting a new business and failing in it. Remember that FAIL stands for first attempt in learning. So it means that you don't actually lose per se by failing the business, but you actually gain in experience. You learn from what has happened and you now know that, okay, moving forward, I have to do this and this and this and I have to do it this way or moving forward I do not have to do this and this and this because if I do it is going to easily lead me in the direction that I don't want to go so guys 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 do not feel like okay why is that even do this now I have wasted it's not a waste of time it is never a waste of time when you start something and you feel in it because whatever the case you have learned something if you do not have that experience of starting and feeling you will have never known that okay maybe a particular thing had to be done in a particular way because you now moving forward or maybe we are going to be going on to try the next thing that you want to do you will now know what to watch out for kind of like okay no i don't have to do things this particular way or no i have to handle the situation this way and not this way because the last thing that i did in which i failed in i did it this way and it did not work out so guys it is not a bad thing especially when you're 20 we are still young we are still trying to experience different things and then really find out where we are really going to be in for the long run you don't feel like everything has to be in place when you're just starting out we're going to make mistakes and it is normal but should we look at those mistakes as things that are just going to shut us down for the rest of our lives or should we look at those mistakes as things that we are actually learning from and that are going to help us moving forward i think that that's the best way to look at it fail first attempts in learning you learn and you don't lose the second thing that i feel we should not regret is maybe moving out of your parents house or yeah, moving out from the family house into your own place. Maybe it does not have to be like an extravagant big no, but into your own small space or maybe moving in with a friend and stuff like that. Because I feel that that experience is very important for us. Like, you should that currently I'm in a family house, but at some point, and I just moved to Yaoundé for school, I was by myself for some, like, for quite a good amount of time before I moved back into the family house and i felt like it was so important why because i learned i'm sure there's even a video that i did of how i got robbed yeah like we stole from my house because of carelessness will i actually be able to repeat that mistake again maybe not maybe but maybe not because i've actually already had that experience of maybe being careless and forgetting my keys and so now maybe i i am more cautious because i am the one that experienced it so you see there's nothing that is is, is not bad maybe be by yourself at some point in time in your life because it's, it's like going to bury you for maybe where you're going to be a wife a mom or where you're going to be a dad a husband you have already had that kind of responsibility or that experience of being responsible for everything that you do or everything that happens or how your home is how your house is you already develop that kind of responsible attitude and so when you're going to be moving now ahead to the next step in your life you would have already gathered that experience but imagine that you just leave oh you leave from your parents house you go into your marital home what really have what what experience have you had with being responsible for certain things like you're solely responsible i'm not saying that people that are staying with your parents are not responsible no but i'm just saying that you learn so much more from staying at least for some amount of time by yourself as opposed to just staying with your parents all through life the last one is do not regret cutting some people off. Yes, I know that there's people always have a kind of perspective about talking about cutting off, cutting off, cutting off. I mean, it's not really what people make of it, but I feel like it's something really important. Like, I saw a funny video on TikTok where this lady was kind of like, I they say sharp scissors for people we want to cut people off this end of year. This my, my pigeon is horrible. Anyways, and it was so funny, but the truth is that is sometimes so some extent is actually important because 
why should i be in your life when instead of helping you to go ahead i'm instead dragging you behind it means that the relationship is not necessary so it goes both ways if i'm saying that i'm in somebody's life not only me cursing of me i should also be able to identify the fact that okay i'm not even like helpful being around this particular person maybe i'm not helping the person to grow so let me take myself away let me take myself out of the equation or same ways you analyze the people around you and you analyze the the in fact the state of the relationship is this a healthy relationship is it good for me is this a healthy i mean it goes both ways friendships relationships all of my relationships is this a, f- a healthy friendship am i helping this person or am i being a distraction to this person if i'm being a distraction to this person then i should kindly it is either i change from being a distraction to that person or i kindly move away from the person so that I should not be the person that is bringing he or she down so guys yes take some time out to analyze the relationship that you have with people is it helpful is it draining because some relationships are actually very draining or some friendships are really draining and every time that you come back you're just feeling down you're just feeling low it's not helping you there's no need having that kind of bad energy around you or unhealthy relationship in your, in your life so the best thing i can do is cut them off yes you just have to do that because it's the right thing for you at that point in time to not regret doing it okay guys so for now that the three things that i believe that in our 20s we should not regret doing them i believe that our 20s at that time or that stage in our lives that we have the we we can we can experiment different things we can look at life from different angles before not getting to that point where we're going to settle i mean you might not you, you might have passed your 20s but you're not yet maybe settle 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 so it still applies you can still practice these things if you have not yet been able to do them do not reg- if you have already done them do not regret doing them and if you have not yet done them and you see that okay this is something that is important that i can actually implement then please go ahead and do them thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video do not hesitate to subscribe like comment share with your friends share with your friends that you know that the video is equally going to help them or add some sort of value to them and turn on the post notification bell as well so that you always be notified when a new video goes live on my channel and please do not hesitate to comment down below the content that you love to see on this channel so thank you guys so much for watching right to the end and see you guys on my next video. Ciao!